What's up guys, it's your boy Christian here back at you for Sneaker Talk with a brand spanking new Air Jordan review. And today we're taking a look at the Cause Air Jordan 8. No, they never actually made one, but the sneaker, you could call it that. This is the Cool Gray Air Jordan 8. It just dropped today and we're in Texas at Legit Looks for Life's crib right now filming this sneaker review. When I saw these sneakers, I fell in love. I love the Air Jordan 4 cost, I love that all gray suede aesthetic they were going for, and they basically replicated that, minus some of the intricate details on this Air Jordan 8. And this Air Jordan 8 is actually very widely available, so if you really want it, you can probably go and get it. One quick thing before this video starts, I just wanna welcome all the new people to the channel who've never seen my face before. Welcome, my name's Christian. This is Sneaker Talk, where I upload daily videos. I do vlogs, I do sneaker reviews like this, I do shopping challenges, all that stuff, and more. We're here for the Air Jordan 8 Cool Gray. I'm not usually a big Air Jordan 8 guy. I don't have any Air Jordan 8s in my collection. This is gonna be my very, very first pair. Now, one thing I can say about Air Jordan 8s because I have dealt with them before in previous sneaker reviews is that these things are built like a tank. So if you were looking for that one pair of Jordans or that one pair of sneaker that's gonna last you all year long, Jordan 8s can definitely last all year long. It's meant to be almost like an outdoor basketball shoe. It was inspired by the Nike Air Raid, and that's where the strap comes from across the sneaker right here, along with these ridges on the very back as well. And so the outsole is gonna perform really well outside, so if you're playing a lot of basketball outside, you will be able to play in these for a long, long time. On top of that, the Air Jordan 8 is actually a very comfortable model. So if you're looking for a pair of Jordans that are going to you know, be your daily beater, something you can slip on comfortably and walking around all day and have some good support. The Air Jordan 8s are something I could say I would recommend. They have good ankle support, they have good amount of support in the heel. These things are basically like boots, they're like tanks. Now as far as sizing and comfort goes for this silhouette, I would recommend going your true size in the Air Jordan 8. I'm typically size 10 in all Air Jordans and that is the case for this one as well. One thing you're gonna notice about the sneaker right away is that there is not just one shade of gray. It's not as monochromatic as you might think it would have been. They actually use multiple shades of gray, as you guys can see. There's like three to four if you want to count black as well. There's like a charcoal gray, not exactly black, but it's not as boring as you might think when you hear all gray shoe. Now the upper of this Air Jordan 8 cool gray consists of this suede material all over. It's average. You're not going to be blown out of the water. This isn't a premium release. This is a general release by Air Jordan. So you're going to expect the typical average quality on this thing. You're not going to be like, whoa, this is amazing. But you're not gonna be like, oh man, this sucks. It's gonna be like in between. Apart from all the suede here, we have these two straps that go across the sneaker. It says 23, MJ's number of course, and then that's covering the laces. On top of the tongue, we have this circular like patch. It's not really something you can pull off or anything like that. But it has this sort of like hairy kind of material to it. Not sure what it is. And then you have the jump man stitched in in this silver, this silvery kind of gray. On the inside, you have an inner booty in here. So your foot, your ankle really does get locked in really secure. So your ankle and everything, it's gonna feel really good in there. You also have this like alien pod, this sort of like band-aid looking thing on the outer part here. We got the Air Jordan strap in gray and it comes across on both sides. You have these like bumps, these ridges, and uh, I believe these are also from the Nike Air Raid. Now here's a look at the outsole of the sneaker. Usually Air Jordan 8s have really colorful outsoles, but because this is like a grayscale Air Jordan, you just have the three different shades or four different shades of gray on the uh, outer sole right here. Overall, it's a pretty well-built sneaker and I could recommend these for daily wear. Now at a retail price point of 190 US dollars or 255 Canadian, I have to admit it's it's pretty high up there. I think if the retail price point was like 150 or 140, these would have sold out instantly. But at 190, I think you guys can expect to see these on the shelves for at least one to two more weeks. From what I've heard, it's not a huge, huge, massive GR. Um, when I went to the Foot Locker to buy these today, they were sold out of my size and they only had like four other sizes left. And we went around 1 or 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Now, even the champs I went to, they said they only got, I think, 21 pairs in total, 
and they only had 12 more left. Now, if you do want these Air Jordan 8 Cool Grays, but the main reason you're not buying them is because of the price point. I hate to disappoint you, but I don't see these hitting the sale, sale pricing anytime soon. I think these are gonna sell out at most retailers by two weeks time or three weeks time. And most sneakers, when they're on the shelves for two to three weeks, that's not enough time for them to go on sale like other releases in the past. So I wouldn't sleep on these. If you do want them, go get them. And of course, if you've made it this far in the video and you're really part of the Sneaker Talk family, then comment in the comment section down below if the Air Jordan 8 Cool Gray is a cop or if it's a drop. Anyways, guys, that will wrap up today's sneaker review of the Air Jordan 8 Cool Gray. I'll catch you guys in the next video or over on my Instagram. Peace. I know you.